Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be melting down some scrap aluminum using my indoor electric furnace. I'll be doing this inside my garage with the door open so it's well ventilated. I carved all these out with my CNC machine after I designed them with a free program called Inkscape. I coated them with a thin layer of wall plaster mixed with water. Now this one, I actually did this with two of them. I mixed a little bit of sand in with the wall plaster. I was actually working on another project for the future and while I was doing that I said you know what I'll just try it out on this one and see how it works on a thinner pattern. You've probably heard me say this a thousand times before. Uh, lost foam casting is super simple. It's one of my favorite ways to metal cast. I'm basically filling the bottom of this container, an old coffin container with sand, and just pressing those on top of that sand. And then I'm going to just fill it in with more sand until it reaches the top. Because some of the foam pieces started to fall over, you can see I started to hold it with my thumb to stabilize it. After filling it halfway, it's always good to vibrate the sand, and then again continue filling all the way to the top. Once it reaches the top, if there's too much sand, just brush it off with a brush and put a pouring basin on top. Checking in with my electric furnace and the metal is melted and ready to pour. When you pour the molten aluminum onto the foam, it vaporizes the foam and takes its shape. After about 15 minutes and letting that cool down, then you can finally remove it from the sand and see if it came out well. Sometimes you'll find that when you pull the pattern, you'll see some of it didn't fill out with aluminum. That's normally because you didn't have the aluminum hot enough and the aluminum cooled down before it could actually vaporize all of the foam. All right, so you saw before I have more to make. Um, I'm not going to show you this whole process over again like I already did in the beginning. I'm going to do the same exact thing with these ones and fill it all the way to the top, just like before. I turned off the furnace when I wasn't using it, so that's why the temperature dropped. Um, so I started up, and we're going to get up to temperature and melt down this aluminum, and we're going to do another pour. And just like before, I let this sit for about 15 minutes before removing this from the sand. You really want to give it some time to cool and solidify before pulling it out of the sand. The last thing you want is to pull it out of the sand and have it still be molten. That would basically ruin your day. I think these came out really good. Um, these two, you can see, this is the two that I use the sand mixed in with the plaster. You can see how it just comes off in one chunk. I think this is actually a really good slurry for using heavy metals. So now I'm just going to cut these off one by one. You can see with the hacksaw. Um, the sprues were really small on these. I did that because I didn't really want to cut off a large sprue and I didn't think it was really needed. 
it's actually pretty amazing how the aluminum can flow down such a small sprue and fill all that without solidifying too fast. Um, so the best thing I think is to wire wheel this with a Dremel tool. A uh, hand wire wheel might work, but I think this is the better way to do it to get a better finish. I think they all came out really good. Um, so I'm actually going to stamp each one of these. This will be my first one. So I did a total of seven. So I will stamp all of them with a stamp because this is the first batch. Now I can't really see the one that great so now I'm just going to make it a little bit more visible by punching a couple circles surrounding the one. I think that looks great. So I'm going to use this metal finish, aluminum black, to add some contrast to this one. I'm just going to apply it with the brush. Uh, you could really apply it with anything, a rag or a Q-tip, uh, but the brush works fairly well. And I realized I should have used the gloves when I was actually adding the aluminum black to it. Better late than never, I guess, right? All right, guys, this is number seven. This is my final one for today. Uh, my total of seven hiking adventure uh, tokens, I guess you'd say. And this is the one that has the metal finish. I didn't put the metal finish on all of them, but I might add it to some later. If you're new to my channel, you might not know that I make coins and some little things that I leave on little hiking trails whenever I go hiking. So this one is going to be my first one I'm leaving on a hiking trail, and this one is going to be number two. So whoever gets this, maybe they'll find my channel and they'll see this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.